Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Garmin Nuvi 2455LM. This is a GPS which sells for about 250 bucks online. You can find it through Amazon's and Walmart's websites, and it's a mid-tier device with a 4.3 inch TFT LCD display which employs a resistive technology as opposed to capacitive. This is one of the areas that Garmin was able to cut the cost on this unit, in addition it doesn't have fancy extras like cameras or Wi-Fi for instance. So it's only limited to just uh, uh, your GPS module, there's nothing extra such as Bluetooth either. However, it does come with free lifetime map updates, so you can connect it using mini USB to a computer. It supports both Mac and PC, and allows you to automatically update the maps for North America in addition to Canada. Otherwise, it has a fairly slim uh, overall portfolio and dimension, and obviously the screen here is slightly larger just to match this trend we're going with in 2016 and 2017 GPS devices. And it does come with a 3D traffic updates as well as uh, gives you an option of having a sub subscription service on board, which gives you uh, push notifications in terms of traffic avoidance. So if there's uh, too much traffic or there's some type of collision or accident, it tells you to uh, avoid that automatically. So that is a nice feature on board. Um, otherwise, taking a quick look at the design here, it has a soft touch rubber material on the back, which resists fingerprints a little bit more. For the price, you're also getting a cradle, which uh, mounts onto the windshield, in addition to the proprietary mini USB uh, cable. So Garmin GPS devices are a little bit picky when it comes to which cables can be used for charging and syncing. Even though it's a standard port, a lot of times the, the software that is, that's written on here tends to look for uh, you know, the cable that was provided out of the box, so that's something to quickly point out. Otherwise, behind here you have access to a mono speaker that gets very loud, it's clean sounding, it's crisp, so for turn-by-turn -turn, uh, directions, it's definitely going to be easy to hear. There's also the option to change you know, the accent in addition to the uh, gender, so the person speaking to you. On the sides here, there's access to a micro SD card slot, so if you want to expand the memory, uh, that's also possible. The very top feature is access to a large power on off switch, and that's basically it. So a pretty sleek overall design. So if we turn this on, on the very top there's access to the battery status, there's also reception status, and the GPS antenna on here is quite strong. Even though right now we're shooting this inside of a house, it still manages to easily pick up uh, the signals, which is a, a rare feat, especially if you consider a lot of our smartphones, when we're indoors, struggles to find the signal. So that's nice to know. Otherwise, there's also access to a pretty traditional interface as far as Garmin GPSs are concerned. So all the icons are oversized, easy to tap on. You have access to your map as well as uh, inserting a destination by tapping on where to. And below here you have access to things like changing the volume as well as settings. So checking out the settings first, you can see that the interface here is fairly modern looking. You have access to things such as uh, looking through your device information, travel history, so on and so forth. There's also language and keyboard, so I can change that. Uh, there is a kind of QWERTY keyboard that pops up when you're entering your destination. Units and time, traffic, display in terms of brightness, color, um, as well as you know, inverting the color when you're in daytime or automatically when it reaches nighttime. Otherwise, if we take a look at other maps, which are bonuses included on here, we have the same kind of feature set that we've been seeing for quite a few years now. There's access to a very basic picture viewer on here, a trip planner, as well as an alarm clock, which you can use this. Um, you can see that the interface has gone through a bit of a facelift, so it does look a lot more modern and features kinetic scrolling. There's also a unit converter, a basic calculator on here as well. So all a few handy tools in case that you unplug this from power since it has a rechargeable battery and you still want to take it with you when you're maybe biking or you know, walking around. Uh, there's some basic utilities on here that might uh, even replace uh, core functions found in some earlier smartphones, for instance. So here we also have access to a, you know, taking a quick look at this picture viewer, a few sample images on here that shows off, let's say, the image quality you'll find on here. Uh, there isn't pinch to zoom because it's a resistive screen, but there is a tap to zoom. And there's also the ability for you to uh, pin this onto a map. So there's geotagging in a sense, so you can see where that picture was taken. So going back, you can see the interface is fairly speedy, and the last feature here is Audible. So there is a MP3 player slash a audiobook player, which is quite handy in the case if you're driving for longer periods of time, you want to listen through a, a book, that's where the micro SD card is going to come in handy, you can load up your favorite books and it's going to read it back to you. And again, the speaker here is quite loud, so that's nice to know. So going back now and just looking at the uh, actual kind of map as well as core functions, uh, you can see that 
overall the screen here does a decent job. It's a matte screen so it's still readable under the sun. However, colors aren't the most vibrant and sometimes they get washed out if you tilt it too significantly. So it's not as great as an IPS panel but I think good enough at this price point. Below here is access to information such as your time information, there's also a speed, so if you're traveling it tells you that automatically, and uh, it's smart enough to also tell you the speed limit on certain roads, so it's going to warn you if you're speeding, which is nice. There's access to things such as uh, muting the sound, as well as tapping on here. I can directly look at a traffic nearby, in addition to service stops, uh, maps, taking a look at different layers, 3D layer on or off, as well as where to and a trip computer, so my distance, my average speed, so on and so forth. Under where to, we have different points of destination that we can enter on a search bar on the very top here, such as a specific name or a street, and you can see the QWERTY keyboard here is pretty spacious and easy to type on. I can also change a language if I had uh, another one that I wanted to select very quickly. So canceling this, we can go back, and I can also search through things such as going home, a preset address that you can input on here for it to remember, different addresses that you might have saved already into the memory. There's also restaurants, gas stations, shopping, um, you know, as well as uh, recently accessed locations and our route sets a bit faster. So all in all, it works fairly well. If I tap on rest restaurants, for instance, it's gonna search by uh, style as well as by the, the type of food that's being served. And then you can see that there are a few recommendations nearby. There's also a phone number information that's gonna tell you. So so if you have one that you like and uh, you want to go to, you can also call them using your phone. So that's something that's uh, possible. All right, so that's a quick video first look and quick review of the Garmin Nuvi 2455LM, a 4.3 inch uh, GPS navigator, which I think is a decent choice because it works very well. That lifetime map support uh, indeed works quite well. You just plug into your computer and it uh, will load that newest firmware if it's available uh, from the computer once you install the CD drivers. Um, otherwise, it performs quite well. It's uh, quite speedy. Reception is very strong, and the speaker on here is also quite loud, clean, and crisp sounding. So it's going to be a great, great option for people who aren't looking for the most expensive or fully stacked GPS navigator in the world, but also uh, it's a bit of an update over older generation models that had a smaller screen as well as more limited points of interest. Thanks for watching. You can check out more details in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video here at OS Reviews. This is the Garmin Nuvi 2455LM.